channel it's your girl Ella and today you may notice something different yes I have changed what I am wearing but that is not it I am standing up I am not sitting down today because today is a different video we are doing a summarization not a, a continuation so before we get into the video you know what happens the three second like subscribe turn on the post notifications challenge and we need to come up with a new name or the three seconds challenge you have three seconds to like subscribe turn on the post notifications in three two one done you should have done that if you didn't do that you can do it while we're summarizing okay so as you know, the book we have been reading for the past year, because it's 2021, it came fast, is Mr. Stink by David Williams. So, chapter one is called Scratch and Sniff. As you know, with Scratch and Sniff, they introdu introduce the characters of Chloe's mum, dad, sister, Chloe and Mr. Stink. As you know, Mr. Stink is a tramp who lives who lived on a bench with his dog Duchess. And Chloe is just an ordinary girl who felt sorry for him and is in a family who who she who she where she doesn't decide what she wants. Her dad is a kind man who is married to um her, her his wife and his wife is someone who is very interested in politics and wants to become the Prime Minister. And um, Chloe's sister, she is apparently perfect in all ways. Apparently, um, apparently she's done everything. She, um, I'll read one of her routines. One of her routines... Going to find it okay so on monday at 5 a.m she has swimming training of course swimming training is normal clarinet lessons normal dance lessons normal dance lessons and ballet normal um 9 a.m to 4 p.m school i would not say school is that long okay drama lessons those are normal Piano lessons, normal brownies. If you don't know what brownies is and you're thinking of food, you're wrong. Because brownies is actually like a girl scout. A uh, girl's brigade. I have no idea what that is. Javelin practice. That's normal. Violin lessons. That's normal, as you know. I play violin. Stilt walking practice. Why does anyone need to go to stilt walking practice? I mean, no one needs to act that high. Chess society, that's fine. Learning Japanese, if you want to travel, okay, that's fine. Flower arranging class, you could say gardening, but not flower arranging. Um, school, again, uh, creative writing workshop, that's normal. Um, porcelain frog painting class, I would say it's normal, but it doesn't appear a lot. Um, heart practice, okay, watercolour painting class, okay, dance class, ballroom, okay, choir practice, yes, long jump training, I would say that you do that in PE, um, high jump and long jump training again, trombone lessons, she plays a lot of instruments, scuba diving, scuba diving, why does a child who was probably like eight or five years old need to go scuba diving chef training she could cut herself with a knife mountain climbing don't really need to do that tennis that's fine drama workshop that's fine show jumping not okay um learning arabic that's fine dance lesson 
Ob Obif listen. If you know how to pronounce that, just don't come in. Don't come for me because I don't know how to pronounce that. Tour de France cycle training. And yeah, I won't, I will not go on, otherwise we will be reading the list forever and ever. So that is what happens. And um, in chapter two, chapter two is a, um, is called, chapter two, chapter two is called, um, chapter two is called Icy Silence. So Icy Silence is where Chloe, Feel sorry for the tramp because any time she drives by, she sees the tramp and she feels sorry for him. So one day she goes up to the tramp coming from Raj's shop. Everyone knows Raj because Raj is one of David Walliams' best, I wouldn't say yeah, most used, most used character in most of the books. Okay, and um, she comes out of this, his sweet shop and she sees the tramp and she decides to. She decides to go and um, um, look at him and, you know, just chat to him because Chloe was a very lonely girl. In the book, it said at school she wasn't, she didn't really have any friends. So she went up, um, she asked if he was hungry and he said he wanted sausages. So Chloe went to, got him, to get him sausages and that's it, okay? And um, what's happened, so after that... Chapter three is called um, The Wanderer. And if you don't know what a wanderer is, it's like someone who goes round places a lot and really just has an imagination that is wonderful. <laughs> okay. And um, what Chloe thinks is after she's given him the sausages, she goes home and she thinks, oh, um, maybe he's done this, maybe he's set off to sea and he's lost so he finds himself where Chloe lives or maybe he's like a secret pirate who decides to steal treasure from her, okay? So that's all I remember. If you remember more, that's fine, okay? So in, um, in chapter four, chapter four, Chapter four is called Drival. If you remember, um, Chloe, instead of doing her maths homework, she loves, like her imagination is wild and she loves creating stories, just like me. And um, she decides to write the story about a vampire, okay? And her mother finds out she's not actually doing maths. She's writing stories. So instead of, um, Instead of just allowing it, her mother rips up all the pages and throws it in the bin. And Chloe is very sad about that, okay? Okay, and chapter five. Chapter five is called Abandoned Starbucks. So this is when Chloe and Mr. Stink become friends. And they decide to chat about um, what's happened for the past few days and like what's happened at school with Chloe. So they so what's happened is um, they went to Starbucks. If you don't know what Starbucks is and you're from another country or you have Starbucks there and it's called something else in your language, that's fine. Starbucks is where you can get drinks and all that. And what's happened is... Um, uh, they went to Starbucks and because of Mr. Stink's terrible smell, what's happened is they've all abandoned Starbucks and what's happened is um, they've, um, they've decided to use Starbucks as a place, okay? So Chloe sits down and Mr. Stink decides to get her something to drink and as they drink, they talk about stuff that's happened and how Chloe gets bullied, okay? So then Pippa, if you do not remember Pippa, then um, Pippa is the person that um, that makes fun of Chloe and doesn't like, and doesn't really like her that much, okay? And Pippa decides to come to Starbucks to have a drink, okay? So, so what's happened is, um, so what's happened is Pippa comes to Starbucks and starts making fun of Mr. Stink and Chloe. So Chloe just hides under the table, but Mr. Stink stands up for Chloe and himself. So what's happened is um, 
It's Chloe, yes. She she's not she's not a um what do you call it? A social person. Chloe is just a quiet person that keeps things to herself like a goth. Okay? And um Chloe, what she did was hide under the table like this. Okay? And Mr. Stink, who was brave, he decided to say, let me just read this to you. If you guys um if you guys find this hilarious, you would you would be laughing your head off, okay? So, what's happened is, so Pippa, okay, Pippa comes in, Pippa comes in, and she, she looks, okay, she looks around, okay, and she, she's shy, as I told you, okay? And what's happened is Pippa comes along. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, okay. Why are you letting her talk to you like that? What is it to you, Grandad? said Rosamond mockingly. So Rosamond is also someone. And Hanging out with a smelly old tramp. Are you, Chloe? You are tragic. How long did it take you to find that sign on your back then? She didn't find it. I did. And I didn't find it amusing. Didn't you? All the other girls found it really funny. Well then, you are as vile as you, Mr. Stink. What? said Rosemary. She wasn't used to being talked like that. I said, then they are as vile as you. He repeated, you are a nasty little bully, she confronted. So tell me, have you ever been bullied? If you have, then that's fine, okay? I'm not saying that bullying is okay, but you should get through it fine, because no matter what, you are perfect the way you are, okay? So that's what's happened in chapter five. He just makes fun, well, not makes fun, but stands up for himself and um, Chloe, and... Okay. 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 In chapter six, in chapter six, chapter six is called Soap Dodgers. So, as you know, Mr. Stink is a smelly old man. It's in his name, Mr. Stink. Okay. And um, he's apparently called a soap dodger. That's what his mother calls him. So, what's happened is. Um, as she is running for to be a politician okay she she is trying to um she's trying to take all the soap dodgers out of the streets like wipe them all out take all the homeless people who are called soap dodgers out of the streets okay and i don't know if this is fine with you but homeless people are people they are real people just like you they have legs arms faces hair just like you Except from the bold ones, but yeah, okay. So it's fine if it's fine, it's fine to do this, but sometimes it just hurts their feelings, okay? Okay, in chapter seven, chapter seven is called, so we've read chapter six, well, we've gone over chapter six, we've read it as well. And chapter seven is called A Bucket in the Corner. This is what I call business. Not money business, but toilet business, okay? So a bucket in the corner, in the old Victorian days, instead of having an actual toilet, they used the bucket. And once they finish with the bucket, they pour it out of the window, okay? And it land on whoever was apparently lucky to stand under their window okay and a bucket in the corner so technically let's say you're going camping if you're going camping and you have no toilet like you have in your house you would have to um we in a bucket or do whatever or do a number two in your bucket and it just be in the corner sitting there it would wait you would have to wait for a few days to actually throw it out okay that is chapter seven it's not really a long, so I'm just trying to get this video to, so we can get to chapter um, nine. 
that's where we are now. Okay. So chapter seven, it's got a bracket in the corner. We've done that. Okay. And also chapter seven is about Chloe finding out that her dad was part of a so-called band and her mother didn't want Chloe to know. Okay. That's part of it. Chapter eight, maybe it's the drain. Okay. So if you remember this, chapter eight, before chapter nine, okay, it's about where Chloe's mum and dad and sister find out the smell, okay? And what's happened is um, the smell is so bad that it comes through the drains. And what Chloe's, Chloe's family thinks is that it's the drains. So Chloe's dad has to go check it out. But he has to pretend that there's nothing there because Chloe's dad is not as mean as Chloe's sister or mum, okay? And that is it because they think that someone is in um, the shed. Someone is. Okay. And then here we are. Chapter 9, okay? Chapter 9 is called A Little Bit of Draw. As you remember, chapter nine is just about um, someone who, someone, the prime minister, uh, where Chloe's mum fell in love, well, is falling in love with the prime minister. So what story is, it's like the dad is amused that a little bit of drawer came out when Chloe's, um, Chloe's mum Okay, when Chloe's mum looks at the Prime Minister in denim shorts. We looked at this in the last video. Okay, so that is all. We've already gone up to chapter 9, okay? So, remember to like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications. And make sure to carry on reading the book with me if you have the same book. And I will see you later. Bye!